oh, there's another week of reimbursement I can get. Uh, or they had resolved the problems. Remember I used me yesterday and, and um, we talked about my dimension one through six problems. If I, um, let's say I go into a, a detox, I'm detoxified, but other problems have come up which justify continuation in that level of care. I meet discharge or transfer criteria when I, I'm in the detox three to, three to five days later, that's resolved. I no longer, now, not only do I no longer have to stay, I shouldn't stay. Uh, I was running a program where a major referral source was a group of, a company that had a group of IOPs, this is around the Philadelphia area and also was a referral source and payer. And they would send people to us either for detox or for detox and rehab. A lot of times they sent people for detox and then we sent them back and they went into their IOP. We get this couple, they fell in love in the last detox and they got married. And now we have both people for detox. And we, we're given, five days three days later they're ready to go and now we're we have this dilemma and by the way we used to involve the staff in, in economic things because you know it's a, and they're trying to figure out a way to keep them and we finally concluded there's no way we can justify keeping them so I called a guy up who referred him and I said you know they're ready to go by the way not too long afterwards, we uh, the, the same referral source referred us somebody for three seven, and the person wasn't ready to be discharged at the allotted time. I don't know what he gave, gave us twenty one days. What well, doesn't matter? And I called him and I said he's not ready, and we'd like an extension. And you know what he said? Okay. And the reason he said that is not because I'm so cute. He he said it because he trusted us. And as you move forward, some of your staff are going to work with some insurance companies where they get the same utilization reviewer each time. They need to develop a relationship with that person. You know, up to and including, hey, I hear your, your, your kid just graduated junior high. How, how was that? That has nothing to do with what they're talking about. Uh, or the person is unable to resolve the problems and that means they require either different services or a different level of care or they've resolved the problems that got them into that level of care but new problems have arisen that can only be treated safely at that level of care. This is a major problem with referrals from the criminal justice system. They come to do time not to do treatment. I was uh, I was in the, the dining room of a 3-7 program and a guy comes striding in, new patient. He says, are you Sherry? I said, yes. He says, I just came in today and I want to know how long I have to be here. And I said, I don't know. He says, what do you mean you don't know? I said, I don't know. He says, aren't you the director? I said, yeah. He says, then how can you not know? You know, and we went on. And, and I said, the... Um, your length of stay, how long you have to be here, is determined on the progress you make in resolving your treatment plan goals and objectives. How do you do that? By the time we got done, he went looking for his counselor so he could get assessed. Um, not only is it clinically inappropriate, but when you allow people to do time, what you're really doing is you're enabling their disease to get worse. Uh, I sent you some of the material. This is a uh, paper and pencil way of doing an assessment, and you can do it six times during uh, during one uh, treatment episode, and so that way you can measure your progress. And uh, I'm not going to go through all this, but it is a kind of paper and pencil variation 
of continuum. It, the cost is about $3.25 a copy, and that gives you six opportunities to, uh, to do the assessment, and it gets sold in packages of 25. And uh, just so you know that there's a conflict of interest, I'm one of the authors, and I get, I think, seven cents for every one sold, so I'm waiting to, to retire, you know, when I... Uh, okay, Continuum. Uh, this is something that Sebastian just started, started got. Here, here's what Continuum does. It gives you a, a DSM-5 substance use disorder diagnosis and criteria, the addiction severity index composite scores. That's the thing we talked about at breakfast today with the 30 days. Yeah. Um, imminent risk considerations. It gives you all this information. And what's the value of it? Well, there are fewer no-shows in terms of outpatient. There are 30% better retention at three months. Retention is a real problem. You can't treat somebody who's not in treatment to be treated. And two to three times better multidimensional outcomes for three months. Uh, my experience as a frequent ASAM trainer is People intuit what they what their patients need without any kind of basis in fact. Um, the other thing that happens, I do I do ASAM training and I can be pretty much assured that a year to two years later I'll be back to do ASAM training again because the rate of turnover is about 50%. So two things happen. Number one, there's half the staff is new, and number two, there's what is called drift. Think about the game we played when we were kids called Whisper, Whisper Down the Lane, I Whisper to You, You Whisper to Her. She, by the time we get to the end, it doesn't have bear any resemblance to what I started. So I've actually developed a system where it's a training of trainer system where the person, um, there's a person who can train new people who come in and or can Supervise so that the drift doesn't occur. I just did this for Illinois. I get spent two months, a number of days in two months, and states are getting very interested in this because I think they're tired of just doing the same thing over and over again. And it can be done that way in a large treatment center. And you know, this is just more about that. Are you an American war veteran? Do you seek drug and alcohol treatment? You just found the best addiction recovery campus right here at California Palms. Call and join us today at California Palms Addiction Recovery Campus. 303-566-1800.